Look at this mugshot. Look at it. This is a happy woman. A woman who got it on with a young child. She's happy about it. Look at this face. That's a happy face. This is Angela Barnes, 45-year-old uh, teacher at uh, Carroll Middle School in, in uh, South Lake. This story is teacher grins in her mugshot after being charged for sexual affair with her student over summer break. Oh, it's young love summer break when you when you spend time on the beach and you frolic about and you hump till you can't hump anymore. That's a summer break. A Texas teacher was seen grinning in her mugshot after her arrest for allegedly having a sexual relationship with a student. So Angela Barnes, 45, a teacher at Carroll Middle School in South Lake, was taken into custody after officials received a tip that she was, um, you know, hopping on the good foot and doing the bad thing with a, with a boy, a young boy, a 15-year-old boy. Officials with Color Public Safety and, uh, the, the, and the school said that the relationship had occurred off campus between June and July of this year. So, um, obviously, June and July is summer break. Unbeknownst to some of my viewers, did you know that um, Australians have their summer break? It's not really summer, but their break over Christmas because the because they're upside down and on the other side of the world. That's an interesting tidbit. The Keller Police uh, Department began its investigation in late September and soon charged Barnes with sexual assault of a child and an improper relationship between an educator and a student. As of now, officials believe that there are no other victims, which often there are usually many victims. Barnes is currently being held at Keller Regional Jail. Now, I'm not entirely sure where South Lake is. So far, it hasn't mentioned it. She has since been placed on leave by the Carroll Independent School District. The district uh, released a statement noting that it's working with police and child protective services as they investigate. Now, a lot of times, um, you know, what? You know, reading these stories and whatnot, there's a lot of people going like, oh, yeah, if I, if I was a 15-year-old, I'd totally want to help my teacher. And maybe that's true in hindsight as, as, as a man. But often, these kids will later say, you know what? I was taken advantage of, and it was bad news. It was bad. It shouldn't have happened. Maybe I enjoyed busting the nut at the time, but I didn't realize what emotionally or spiritually or sometimes physically what that was doing to me. Like there was that one teacher who wanted to leave her mark. And so she like put her like big claws like into his back and like scratched him all the way down. And he was like bleeding through his shirts. She wanted to, she wanted to forever mark him. And he was just a young kid. The safety and security of all students is always our top priority. And any allegations of adult misconduct are addressed promptly and reported immediately to the proper authorities the statement said there are no further details to share at this time as the investigation continues this arrest comes just to two weeks after a 14 year old boy revealed how badly traumatized he was after his 46 year old teacher locked him in a classroom and raped him during his eighth grade graduation day so now, as I was just previously saying, sometimes, you know, in hindsight, as a grown man, you know, who's, who, who wants to get it in, we're like, oh, I wish I could have got it in. Well, this kid's saying, you know what, it really badly messed me up. You know, being locked in a classroom, forced to hump your teacher. Michelle Solace left the victim traumatized with feelings of isolation after the sex attack at uh, Sycamore Middle School in uh, California in 2021. Now, I've covered. This story of Michelle Solace, um, independent, independently, there's, there's, there's a video specifically about this, this attack, um, and it's pretty brazen that the graduation ceremony is happening, and she, like, locks them in, and she's like, you're gonna hump this, and it's my gift to you. That's pretty pretty messed up, I think. Solace, a married mother, admitted the, the rape 
and was jailed for four years in July. Her victim has now filed a civil lawsuit against the Gridley County School District for failing to stop the attack. It's been a roller coaster of emotions for the victim. Um, the, his attorney has said the mother of two was arrested last November and uh, carefully built a close friendship with the child under the guise of helping him with his homework. I mean, there's, there's that, but here's a, here, here's a fun one. I guess, I guess fun is a, is a silly word to use, but here, here is one here, a married school guidance counselor, because they're often always married. Uh, 47 years old, is arrested for giving a boy, 13 years old, uh, sexy lap dances. Now, that's that's not um, argu arguably, you could say maybe that's not as bad as locking a child into a classroom and saying, hump this or else, this is your gift. Um, but, you know, probably, probably pretty bad. 47-year-old Connecticut teacher has been arrested after she was accused of performing sex acts and lap dances on a 13-year-old boy. Well, if there was sex acts, then yes, it is just as bad. Luisa Melchion? I don't know names. I can barely even read. How am I expected to read funny names? Anyways, I'm married. A school guidance counselor at Nathan Hale middle school when i hear nathan hale i think of the uh the video game franchise resistance what a fantastic video game series that was anyways plowing ahead uh was taken into custody after an investigation revealed inappropriate messages and cash transfers between her and the middle schooler so mel Keown, which i know how to say now because while while you weren't looking i i just quickly snuck off to google translate and translated this Melchion is how it's pronounced anyways plowing ahead Melchion who uh, has children of her own has been charged with second degree sexual assault and two counts of risk of injury to a minor police said they received an anonymous call about the accused having an inappropriate relationship with the student in early April soon after they received 17 screenshots of alleged text messages with explicit photos and money transactions between Melchion and uh, the students. So parents, go through your kid's shit. Now, you might be worried about violating privacy, and sometimes I am too, but the more that I do, the more that I cover these stories, the, the more I'm less interested in my children's privacy. Um, Snapchats, uh, Facebook, Instagram, what's up, uh, what's up, what's, what's app, um, a telegram, no fucking child should have telegram, um, signal. I mean, a a any of these things like normally it's, it's like Snapchat. That's like the big one, but even just, just their text messages. I mean, there was also a, a story that, that just happened where a, a deranged woman contacted a, a young boy through Roblox. So that's a thing that you need to check. Make sure parents make sure your child has the Roblox locked it down because not only is that a pedophile cesspool, you got deranged people on there. And this this woman somehow got into this kid's head and instructed the the this young child to murder their 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 baby, like their their baby sibling who's like 2 months old. And um, slit the throats of uh, the parents and to burn the house down. And so of all of these instructions, the kid managed to gravely injure the baby by dropping them from a, a tremendous height and soaked the house in like gasoline or whatever. Didn't manage to set it on fire because they, they couldn't make fire happen. And it's it's crazy. All just through Roblox. Just the little messaging feature. Kids are uh, really, really impressionable. So, yeah, parents, honestly, to hell with your kids' privacy. According to the arrest report, the relationship had begun when the child was in the seventh grade and supposedly ended when he changed schools. During the investigation, detectives discovered that the accused would perform sexual acts, lap dances in her office, and ask for nude photos 
from the child. She would give him money for Uber rides and food through Apple Pay. At times, most notably, she gave him $100. Like, if anybody gave my kid 100 bucks and it wasn't like his birthday or something, I, I'd be like, yo, what's up? According to the report, they, um, they would only use her office phone to contact the child since she was afraid her husband would catch her if she used her own phone. Oh my goodness. I bet that husband's really pissed off, eh? And I always think about the husbands because for the most part, for the most part, these these predator teachers are married. They usually have kids and they have the whole life, like the American dream, as it were. And then I'm thinking like you're throwing it all away for something so you could like suck on a, like a 13-year-old's dick and fucking grind your pussy on him. Like you've, you've thrown it all away. You're going to jail now. Like, the husband must be absolutely devastated. Like, I mean, even maybe, let's just say, for argument's sake, that it's a bad husband. Maybe he's a bad dude. Okay. But you haven't made the situation better. And the guy's part's probably broken. And, and if he was, for argument's sake, I'm not saying he's a bad dude. He's probably a fine gentleman. But I'm just saying, argument's sake, let's pretend he is a bad dude. Now you're going to jail, leaving your children with the bad dude. Like, it's, it makes no sense to me. But the accused attorney has denied all such allegations and said that despite their severity, she's entitled to the presumption of innocence. I mean, yes, of course, innocent until proven guilty. But, you know, sometimes evidence is uh, pretty damning. Like the photos, and the exchanges, the text messages. Louisa is still very much entitled to the presumption of innocence. These are just accusations. What we do know is that these charges are being brought against a devoted wife and mother who has dedicated over 20 years to her profession and is going to take some time to investigate the case. It actually takes a lot less time than what you might think. Sometimes cases are pretty much as open and shut as this. Oh, let me see your phone. Uh, yeah, at the very least, this is child porn. So um, you're guilty of that for sure. So it's not going to take that much time. You have a, a victim that says, oh, yes, that happened to me. In a statement, Norwalk Public Schools said the safety of the student is its first concern. Nor Norwalk Public Schools is cooperating with the police department and has no further comments. Uh, a spokesperson for the def uh, the the district has said, and uh, the predator is being held on a five hundred thousand dollar bond and has since resigned from the school. So that's I don't know that's a bit of an update, I guess in 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 the world of uh, teachers banging their students because it's not stopping. Anyways, uh, we're gonna wrap this up there. Thank you for watching. I do appreciate your time. And uh, I guess I see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye for now.